Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello everyone and welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog Program. I'm Johnette Benkovic, so delighted and happy to be with you today. We want to show so many more holy reminders for you that you can fill your house with and lift your hearts and your minds to God and enter more deeply into the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm co-hosting with Ryan Penny today and Ryan, I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy to be here, Johnette. Well, thank you very much. And we've got all kinds of beautiful items to show you today. I am so certain that you are going to be so excited. Now this week on EWTN Religious Catalog Program, we are discussing the Lily of the Mohawks, St. Kateri Tekawitha. Now who was Kateri Tekawitha? Well, she was a generous girl who became an orphan and almost died of smallpox at the age of four. But just as he has in mind for you, God had great plans for her. You will be surprised to find out how much you may have in common with her. We are celebrating St. Kateri with special items that we will show you during our program. So you may want to call your friends to get them to tune in and you might want to have a piece of paper handy and a pencil so you can jot down those items that speak most deeply to your heart. Now do please keep in mind that every time that you shop online at EWTNRC.com rather than call our phone center you are saving us dollars that we can put to better use promoting Mother's Mission and I'm quite certain you want to do that and as always our website is secure and easy to navigate so it is safe for you and it's convenient for you too. We're going to start off, though, with a very, very special item today. Now, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that next week is St. Francis of Assisi's feast day on October the 4th. So let's take a look at this beautiful San Damiano icon crucifix that's available for you. I'm going to hold this up. Now, it's a pretty, pretty hefty little item here. Look at how beautiful this is. Isn't it lovely? Now, the San Damiano crucifix was very significant to the life of St. Francis. As St. Francis was praying before this crucifix, Jesus Jesus came off the cross and asked Francis to rebuild his church. St. Francis obeyed and subsequently became one of the greatest saints in church history. This Italian style crucifix features a decorative gold leafed border. It measures 17 inches high and I can just see this above a fireplace. I can see it on a small wall in your home. I can see it above a bed. Wouldn't it be beautiful above your bed? Imagine falling asleep every night after you have gazed with prayerful attention on this crucifix as you've knelt beside your bedside. It is absolutely lovely. So we invite you to maybe jot this down on that piece of paper because it's something that you will treasure and something that I am quite certain you will want to pass on to your children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, or someone very, very special to you. It's a lovely, lovely featured item. Now, because we are uh, celebrating this beautiful feast of St. Francis of Assisi, we have something else to offer you as well. And this is a bronze finished statue of St. Francis. Look at this. These statues are remarkable for all many, many different kinds of reasons, but particularly because of the beautiful detail that you will see. And this is cold cast bronze, and it depicts St. Francis of Assisi in this, this glorious, glorious position of, of welcoming the animals around him. He is clothed in his Franciscan habit. He's holding a cross in his right hand, as you can see, and a dove alights upon his forearm, and a deer and a rabbit gather at his feet. It is so touching. St. Francis was a great lover of creation and an even greater lover of the Creator himself. And he saw our God in everything that he had created, which was one of the reasons why his heart was so open to the beauty of creation. It helped him 
to anticipate the beauty that he would behold for all eternity when he was in the presence of the beatific vision. Now this statue is a beautiful reminder that we should, like Francis, always contemplate in creatures the wisdom power and goodness of the Creator. The statue measures eight and a half inches high and uh, as we're anticipating the coming Christmas season, what a beautiful gift to give to someone. It's a gift that they will treasure and one that will help them to enter more deeply into the beauty and majesty of God as He reveals that majesty to us through the created order. We also want to offer you something else that will help you to reflect upon the beautiful life witness of St. Francis of Assisi. And this is the St. Francis wood bead rosary. Now let me just hold this in a fashion where you can really appreciate it. This rosary features brown wood beads, as you can see, a pewter San Damiano crucifix with a prayer to St. Francis inscribed on the back. And it also shows a centerpiece image right here. And it has on one side St. Francis and on the other side, St. Clair. So this is quite suitable for a, a man or for a woman. It is imported from Italy. We have many, many more St. Francis items, including uh, garden statues, uh, and all of them are available for you online. In fact, you know, talking about garden statues, some of these outdoor statues are just lovely and would make great additions in your yard this autumn. In fact, I ordered one from Religious Catalog of St. Francis and he is in my garden and it makes me smile every time I look upon it and I'm sure you'll have exactly the same reaction when you order yours through EWTNRC.com. Well, Jonna, out of all the items that I've gotten to show the past couple weeks, this is probably the one that I'm excited about the most. As you know, we have the Feast of the Archangels coming up this week on September 29th. And quite appropriately, we have this St. Michael the Archangel holy water font. This is actually hanging up on the wall in my room. Is it really? This is a gift given to me a couple of years ago. I had my eyes on it for a long time. St. Michael the Archangel, He's. I think he's so important, especially for for men to understand that we have to step up and fight in the spiritual battle. Uh, we, we read in uh, James chapter 4, verse 7, that we are to resist the devil and he will flee because he's a coward. And St. Michael is a great reminder of the fight that we're supposed to engage in. So this font features St. Michael the Archangel crushing the head of Satan. Uh, this holy water basin is one and a half inches deep and this resin cold cast bronze font has a flat back with the hook for hanging and it measures nine and a half inches from the tip of St. Michael's wing to the bottom of the font. And because this is the feast of all of the three main archangels, we wanted to show you a couple more statues. The first one, um, we have some statues of St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and the first one is this uh, statue of the Annunciation. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's magnificent. This sculpture is a fantastic representation of the Annunciation, and it is an excellent reminder of Mary's fiat and her impeccable obedience to the will of God. This, this, this statue shows that moment in history where everything changed, the humility of a 14-year-old girl that changed the course of history. And so this ceramic statue is a great aid to personal meditation and prayer, especially as you pray the joyful mysteries of the rosary. It measures 10 inches high and it is hand painted in mostly muted tones except for the cloth covering Mary's predu and the brilliant gilding on the angel Gabriel's wings. You know, I'd like to comment on that. Uh, one of the things that, that I always look at, Ryan, when I'm purchasing a statue is the face. And the face of our Blessed Lady and the face of St. Gabriel are just beautiful. They're so, so lovely, and the expressions on their face, just really, really incredible. Absolutely. You can, you can see the very real emotions that the Blessed Mother would have felt in that, uh, in that very important moment in history. And so next we have uh, this St. Raphael, the Archangel statue. The Hebrew name Raphael means God heals or the divine healer. The story of the Archangel Raphael can be found in the Old Testament book of Tobit. And he, uh, of course, he's the one that arranged the marriage of Tobias and Sarah, which is very beautiful. So he's like uh, the angelic matchmaker in a sense. <laughs> so, and uh, Saint Raphael 
is depicted as strong and majestic, kneeling on one knee and holding a spear with the symbol for medicine on the top. And this statue measures eight and three-fourths inches high. It would be a perfect gift for a doctor, for a nurse, anybody in the healthcare professions, Absolutely. as well as for anyone who is looking for a good and holy spouse. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yep, yep. And then the last of uh, the Archangel's items here, we have, oh, this is, this is a really awesome St. Michael panel plaque. This remarkably beautiful image of St. Michael the Archangel is printed on a three panel plaque and it measures 11 and a half inches by 15 inches. I think I need to get this and put this on my room next to my St. Michael the Archangel holy water font. I see, now you're falling into the same kind of a thing that happens to all of us who yeah. host <laughs> religious catalogs. I want to take all these home. things off the set with me today. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really it is. is. And I love, you know, I love the rustic look of this. It's very masculine, very masculine in its appearance. And yet for a woman who has, you know, a penchant for maybe a little more rustic or a little more antique kind of, a, of an aesthetic in her home, it, it's also quite suitable there. But, uh, you know, a, a gentleman would be very happy Christmas to gift this for gift. the man in your life. This yeah. is what you need to get right here. <laughs> I love it. Now, you know, you just can't do better than these beautiful holy reminders that we have available for you. And I want to show you this one. Maybe we can find a place for our San Damiano cross there as we put the uh, mold up here for this beautiful necklace. This is this is quite beautiful. Uh, this is something, this, this style of a necklace has been around a very long time. I remember this style from my youth. So it has a, a real place, I think, in, uh, in the uh, historic uh, <laughs> picture of the church here. This is a beautiful triple slide lily miraculous medal. Now you can see that it opens up to reveal a miraculous medal, a Saint Therese medal, and a Sacred Heart of Jesus medal. And if uh, my fingers cooperate here, I will, I will slide these open for you. They're very easy to slide, as a matter of fact. See? And you can see now that there are three of them there. And I just mentioned uh, the other two are St. Therese, and we've got the Sacred Heart of Jesus here. It is made of sterling silver, and it measures a half inch on an 18-inch chain. This is a beautiful, beautiful gift for any young lady, for any woman. And I guess I'm in the gift mode. I'm planning Christmas, apparently. Uh, the idea being that, you know, you just can't do better than a beautiful piece of jewelry that also celebrates the faith, also leads us more deeply into the faith, also gives witness to the faith. So how could we do better? Now, St. Therese's Feast Day is next week, and we think that this would make an excellent way to celebrate that great feast day. So we're going to show you this. We're going to leave this here for just a moment, even as I show you something else that's quite beautiful. This is a statue of St. Therese, the little flower. I have to tell you something. I just have to tell you that when I was a little girl, St. Therese was my very favorite saint, and she still remains one of my very favorite saints. And when I was eight, I wrote a poem to her. I did. And uh, it talked about her flowers, and it talked about, uh, you know, begging her intercession so that, you know, our, my soul, as I, I prayed, could be like white lace. And uh, she is just such a remarkable, remarkable little saint whose little way helps so many of us to have faith and to have courage. Courage in, in that daily battle that Ryan was talking about. And just before she died, did you know that St. Therese promised a shower of roses from heaven? Because of that promise, she is often pictured with roses in her hands, and that's why this statue is commemorating that. Now, this particular statue depicts her carrying that bouquet of flowers as well as a crucifix. The statue measures 14 inches high, and as I said about our Blessed Lady's face and the face of Gabriel depicted on the sculpture that Ryan showed you, this is also a very beautiful, beautiful face of St. Therese here. And she's just oh so sweet. Who doesn't love St. Therese? Now, at, we promised you at the beginning of the show that we were going to show you a new statue. And this new statue features St. Kateri Tekawitha. She is really a patron saint for our Young Women of Grace. And uh, if you don't know about Young Women of Grace, we invite you to get out to our website, womenofgrace.com, to learn more. This statue of the Lily of the Mohawks depicts a very beautiful post-mortem image of the saint. Now, when St. Kateri died on April 17, 1680, witnesses said that her emaciated face changed color and became like that of a healthy child. 
the lines of suffering, even the smallpox scars that she bore from the time she was four suddenly disappeared, and the touch of a smile came upon her lips shortly after her death. As distributor Tim O'Connell tells our very own Elena Rodriguez, you'll be surprised when you hear who makes this statue. Here is Tim O'Connell sharing with us about that. We, we worked hard with different versions of St. Kateri that we've seen around and trying to get incorporate different parts from other pieces that we've seen and it turned out beautifully. They did a fantastic job. It is made in the Far East, but it's, it's made by a woman who wants to make a perfect piece. And uh, we've really put a lot of effort into getting the coloring correct, the, the uh, skin tone, and just to match with the Native American Indians. And they, they did a wonderful job. It wasn't so much of a piece that people were looking for, but when we came out with it, it it's so well done. And we've heard from other customers that it's, it's much better than anything they've have or had around. And, and it shows in how many people have wanted to get it and that put it into their homes. This statue is hand painted in soft earth tones and measures eight inches high. As a matter of fact, the coloring of this statue reminds me very much of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Now, if you would like to learn more about St. Katira Tekawitha, we have this very beautiful DVD for you, and it's called In Her Footsteps, The Story of St. Katiri Tekawitha. Now, on October 21st, 2012, Katiri Tekawitha became the first Native North American woman to be recognized as a saint. This documentary takes us on a journey as we follow St. Kateri's incredible journey of deep faith, heroic sacrifice, and love of Christ. The DVD includes excerpts from her canonization mass and Thanksgiving mass in Rome. Her name was Tikawitha, and she was once a child like you and me, a baby born along the Mohawk River to a baptized Algonquin woman and a Mohawk, and a Mohawk chief. chief. Some say she was lucky. She was lucky. A smallpox came to her village when she was only six years old. Her mother, her father, and brother, and brother all died. All died. Even though she suffered the fevers, the aching bones, and the painful blisters of the deadly of the disease. Tekawitha lived. The running time is 50 minutes, and it's available for you at EWTNRC.com. We have a lot of great holy reminders of some amazing female saints on the show today. And so continuing with that theme, undoubtedly one of the most beloved female saints of the 20th century is St. Faustina Kowalska. So we wanted to show to you today, since her feast day is coming up next week on October 5th, we thought that we'd show you this St. Faustina book and DVD set. The set includes the book, St. Faustina Prayer Book for the Conversion of Sinners. It is surprising how often St. Faustina, the patroness of Divine Mercy, wrote about conversion. Susan Tassoni breaks down the message and meaning of mercy and conversion in our own life and how we can become more faithful and praying for the conversion of our relatives, friends, and others. That's what life on earth is all about, turning from sin and becoming great saints for the glory of God. The set also includes the Fount of Mercy DVD. In this program, Father Jacques Daly makes a pilgrimage to St. Faustina's homeland in Poland. The message of divine mercy given to St. Faustina by our Lord is revisited at the birthplace, convents, working and praying signs of the Apostle of Mercy, St. Faustina. The running time is five hours. That's very extensive. So there's going to be a lot of great material here for people to watch then. Indeed. They can break it up into segments. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It would be a great opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have a book that was recently featured on EWTN Bookmark, Mother Angelica on Prayer and Living for the Kingdom. In these insightful pages, Mother Angelica deepens our understanding of prayer and the practicalities of living with our ultimate purpose, eternity in heaven with Jesus. This volume brings together for the first time the writings on these topics that inspired her extraordinary media ministry. In this book, Mother invites us into her world of prayer, including discussions of the various types of prayer that can be found in the rich tradition of the Catholic Church. 
She also offers us some of her original prayers that will enhance our daily spiritual lives. Recently, Father Joseph sat down with Doug Keck to discuss this book. God loved us even before we existed. He has a plan for us. And then the family spirit, which he talks about, you know, that we're called to this Trinitarian life of communion with one another. So there's a lot of right. rich treasure, treasures in this new book. Right, and right in the beginning, in the section on, on prayer, she talks about the concept of living in the present moment, which yes. was very important to her spirituality. Mm -hmm. So that's really one of the key elements of her spirituality. We shouldn't live in the past in regret or resentment or the future in fear in our imagination, but let's live in this present moment and sing a new love song to God in this present moment. Right. Pray. Let the, let the presence of God just fill your soul with peace and joy. See, love takes away fear. If you love much, you're not going to be afraid. I'll pray for you now, huh? No one appreciated the power of prayer more than Mother Angelica. Now, you can benefit from her own personal insights and prayers. Mother Angelica on Prayer and Living for the Kingdom is the latest in a series from EWTN Publishing based on her classic many books. Discover what she meant by living in the present moment and how important making your prayer life a priority is to achieving that goal. In her own words, in her own way, let Mother's inspiring prayers lead you to experience a renewed power of prayer in your life. Mother Angelica on Prayer and Living for the Kingdom New from EWTN Publishing, now available at EWTNRC.com. Are you a Franciscan? Well, if you watch EWTN, you're a Franciscan in spirit because you don't need to wear a habit to love God and to be an instrument of His peace. We had a sneak peek this week, but next week on the EWTN Religious Catalog Show, we celebrate our Franciscan heritage with all bells and whistles as a certain Franciscan nun would want us to do. Our foundress, Mother Mary Angelica. Mark your calendar for next week's EWTN Religious Catalog Show as we honor the feast day of St. Francis. Pick your favorite time of the week to watch the Religious Catalog Show. Here are all of the times. Now we come to our favorite time of the program when we get to give you the item numbers so that you can order some of these beautiful holy reminders that we've shown you today. First, we started with the San Damiano decorative wood icon crucifix. It is item number 12500 and it is $100. We also showed you the St. Francis bronze finished statue, item number 76058 and it is $60. We showed you next the St. Francis Oval Wood Bead Rosary, item number 358R, and it is $22. Next we showed you the awesome St. Michael Holy Water Font with the bronze finish. It is item number 75362, and it costs $52. Next we showed you the Annunciation Statue, Item number L1150, and it's $72. Next, we showed you the St. Raphael the Archangel statue, and it is item number L7727, and it is $80. Next, we showed you the St. Michael panel plaque, item number 66507, and it costs $37. The next item that we showed you was the Triple Slide Lily Miraculous Metal. Such a beautiful, beautiful metal, a very lovely vintage piece. It is item number S3199, and it is $42. And then the St. Therese, the Little Flower Statue. So sweet, so lovely. It is item number 46618, and it is $47.50. And then we showed you the beautiful new Sankateri Tekawitha 8-inch statue in those beautiful earth tone colors so reminiscent of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It is item number 76433, and it is $46. In her footsteps, the story of St. Kateri Tekawitha, the DVD is item number 8291D, 
and it is $20. Next we showed you the St. Faustina book and DVD set. It is item number T1815K and remember normally this price would be $42 but if you buy it today you can save 35% when purchased together. It is only $27.30. And finally, we showed you the new book, Mother Angelica on Prayer and Living for the Kingdom. It is item number 80466, and it is only $14.95. We hope that you have written down those items that spoke to your heart the most, and we want to invite you to place your order as soon as you can. And to place your order, please visit EWTNRC.com. That again is EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure 24 hours per day, seven days per week. Now you know we accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. That is EWTNRC.com. Use the code FREECD, that's F-R-E-E-C-D, with any online order until October 15th and get a free CD. Or you can call us at 800-854-6316. Thanks so much for joining us today. Just visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. And for those of you tuning in from Canada, look for the Shop Canada button at EWTNRC.com for special savings. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. And so, dear friends, until we are together again, may the abundant life of Jesus Christ be yours, and may God richly bless you. Bye-bye now. This show is here to help you to become holy, to help your family to become stronger in union with God and union with each other. I want to feed your family and you with beautiful books, beautiful articles, the saints, crucifixes, just something of God for your living room, for your kitchen, in your car, wherever. I hope and pray that this program, this catalog program, will help us to be family. First God's family, your family. And that's what this network is all about, family.